For what's up, bikers? I'm Johnny Thompson from Fit for Racing, and this is the Fit for Racing YouTube channel where we host loads of tips for fitness, specifically for mountain biking. Subscribe and make sure you hit the bell notification so you see any of our future videos first. But for now, here's another nine tips to get you better on the bike. Preparation for any kind of exercise is important, but for lifting, it's particularly important. So try this banded glute activator. If you see, Pat's hip is beyond 90 degrees, goes to fully standing, all initiated by the glute here and partially by the hamstring. So band up, do 10 to 15 of these each side before you do any kind of hip movement and see the benefits of banded activation. It's the time of year where we want to consider speed and power work, not just absolute strength. So adding bands to a barbell means the load can be less, but the encouragement of standing tall is increased, which ultimately builds more power. Add some bands, make sure that they're secured well and they don't spring off or detach, make it dangerous. And squat as normal with a slight pause at the bottom, bam, increase velocity as if you were going to jump and feel the benefits of power. Speed and power work isn't just exclusively for the hips, but for the upper body as well. Muscle recruitment is increased as the speed is increased. Clapping push-ups are amazing. Pat's just done his biggest set ever because we're recording. But if you can only do two or three, then go down to your knees <laughs> and scale it. It's the intention of the speed that counts, not necessarily that you can do a clap. So don't be put off because you have to be like Rocky Balboa. Just get down on your knees, push as hard as you can and fast as you can, and even just come off the ground a little bit and you'll feel the benefits on the bike. Yeah. Upper mid back strength with a difference. Normally we see a straight up and down pull, which is great for building strength, but this secular motion can help increase time under tension and build muscular endurance in that all important upper mid back. Do these each side three times for as long as possible with a weight that you can manage without any rotation through your midline and see your ride handling improve massively. Secular row this shit. <laughs> can you do it? This is gonna have to be a one hit wonder. I might be fat, but I'm fucking strong. <laughs> on my right arm. <laughs> Genuinely couldn't do that on my left. <laughs> Oh, I can't even grip it on my left. <laughs> <laughs> well, the two most important parts of fitness for mountain biking, grip and core. You can work do do ba ba. Two most important things about... Uh, the two most important things to be strong... No, arguably the two most important parts of your body. Grip and core, arguably the most important parts to strengthen to get better at riding. You can do both of these with a hollow hang. We call it hong ho hongo, hollow, stay on, stay on, hollow hang because you're in a hollow midsection. That means that if you're not just in a dead hang, so if you're not working your core, dead hang, you're gonna be overextended in your lower back, which can be dangerous by engaging scapula at the back, hollow with legs out the front, you're also engaging the obliques and all of that trunk goodness, so you've got double whammy benefits for riding. So not only is it safer, better for performance, which we love. That's it. Working overhead strength increases endurance and strength in the shoulders and triceps. It's gonna help you on the bike. If you've got no weight, try this pike push-up. Ultimately, it's a downward dog, head goes to the mat. Increase the difficulty though by 
raising your feet, and then you get more vertical angle that replicates an overhead press with no weight. And if it's just after Christmas, it's gonna help loading. <laughs> Shoulder endurance is super important for riders. Shoulder taps can get you there, but it might take you about a week. So increase the difficulty by putting your legs on a wall. Increase the load on the shoulders, make it tougher. At each stage, the higher you get, the more difficult it gets. Don't break your neck trying this, but if you can get up there safely and you can do it, the benefits are massive. The trap bar, a variation of a barbell, which means you can stand centrally in it. It means that the bar is not going to contact your knee as you stand, meaning if you've got poor mobility, you can still do heavy loaded deadlifts from the ground. But it also means that you can jump. So adding velocity with lighter weights will increase speed and power. A very versatile piece of equipment, not just because you have mobility issues, but increasing speed and power. Benefits on the bike, massive. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. If you liked it, comment. What tips would you like to see? What things would you like to tell people that you do to help you be a better rider? And don't forget, subscribe, hit the bell notification, and I'll see you in a future vid. Peace. <laughs>